We start the show with Paula Creamer, one of the most recognisable faces on the LPGA Tour. Last week, she returned to Singapore to defend her HSBC Women's Champions title, which she won with one of the most memorable putts in golfing history. So I joined her to walk the final hole at Sentosa's Serapong Course. Paula, thank you so much for joining us here on Golf Wing World. It's great to talk to you at the beginning of the season and especially here in yeah. Singapore at the HSBC Women's Champions. The way yeah. that you won on the green with that monstrous 75 <laughs> foot putt was just incredible. It's crazy and the, you know, it's one of those things that happens in sports, you know, and that transcends through just even your life. Um, you don't often see that, you know, people oh, who don't God. even play golf knew about the putt and that's, that's pretty <laughs> cool, especially, you know, for women's golf. And um, I think that it was probably one of the most exciting times, you know, just moments and I walk up and I see it, you know, happening even just when I'm playing a practice round or whatnot, I can see the putt going in and, it was, it was so surreal, it really was. Well, it was amazing to watch and it must be nice being back on the course because you had a pretty amazing time off the course at the end of mm -hmm. the year last year. Congratulations, Mrs. Thank Keith. you, thank you. It was awesome. I've always wanted the wedding and I've always wanted the dress and the moment and, you know, we didn't see each other before, you know, yeah. we got married, no, no pictures like that. And I mean, I, I had a year to plan it and I took advantage of that. Um, and he looked so handsome, so yeah. <laughs> it was fun. And of course you had your little golfing family there. Your lovely caddy Colin as your honorary mm -hmm. man of honor. It mm -hmm. must be so nice having that bond with your team on the course that they really are just like family. Well, he is, Colin is, he's like my brother. I mean, we've been together 11 years and I mean, I couldn't find a better person for, to be my man of honor. I mean, it's a little different. Uh, you don't normally hear you know, of that, but you know, he is. He's, he's my best friend and he knows me. <laughs> Knows me almost too well, um, but you know it, it's fine. You know this is my life, and you know he is just so important to me. And in the role that he plays is, it's big. He has a lot of things that he has to do and kind of take care of. Um, but you know his daughter was my flower girl, and his um, son was an usher. And you know my manager Jay played the piano. Um, so I had a very, you know everybody very close to me was a, was a part of it, and it was a very intimate setting like that in, in, a, in a sense. And that's what I've always wanted. So it was pretty cool. I'm sure you've got loads of goals this year, but are the majors are something that you're really focusing on? Yes, that, the majors are definitely what I, you know, try to get my game ready for. Um, Solheim Cup this year, you know, in Germany, so that's going to be a, a huge thing for me. Um, and then, you know, quite truthfully, the the Olympics. Yeah. Um, 2016 is you know going to be a big year, and I, you know, I want to be on that team. So I heard you say yesterday that the Olympics is everything that really you've ever worked for. Mm -hmm. To just represent the US and be out there in the opening ceremony with some of your heroes, uh, what would that be like? I, you know, I, you can only obviously come up with things in your mind to figure out what it would be like. And you know, people used to tell me what it would be like to tee off on the first tee at Solheim. And you can't prepare anybody for that. I love the Olympics. I find it amazing that you can have some of these athletes that literally work so hard for four years just yeah. to you know get out there and have this one moment and I feel so blessed I get to play a tournament you know every week and it's you know it's my job it's what I do you know just to be able to come out with the team oh it gives me goosebumps <laughs> I, it would be awesome walking onto the green now mm -hmm. does it bring it all back from last year with the crowds and seeing the putt and knowing the yeah. position that you're in I mean it looks different now with nobody there but yeah. you know yeah. it, it does I mean, we were trying to figure out where the spot was and everything to, yeah. You know, the greens aren't quite as fast as they were last year um, because I was literally trying to keep it on the green, you know, yeah. I, and now you can kind of put it up to about three or four have feet. Have you given it another go? I have. I, I have tried it and actually Morgan was, we played a practice round together and, and, and we tried to, to the putt and, it, you know, it was, it was close. It was like three <laughs> yeah. feet. Well, thank you so much for joining. It's been a pleasure to yes. chat to you on Thank Golf you. Ten-time LPGA champion, Paula Creamer.